it go, darling. Some soldiers to go with your chucky egg. <laughs> Sorry. So you should be. Look, it's not like I said it in front of him, is it? It's the fact that you said it at all. You didn't mean it, did you? No, of course not. I just... Everything just got on top of me, that's all. Well, that's understandable, given what you've been through. I think it's only just beginning to sink in, you know. I've, I've been that busy with the funeral and everything. Don't suppose you fancy some breakfast, do you? I thought you were never going to ask me. There you were. Shouldn't you be getting ready for work? I'm not going in. Oh, come on, you said yourself. It's better to keep busy. Yeah, well, I've said a lot of things, haven't I? Like she'll be home soon. She might never come home. Hey, don't say that. Can't carry on pretending, Kevin. I'm trying to fool myself that if I carry on as normal, everything will be all right. If only I knew I wouldn't have shouted at her, I wouldn't have got fed up. Hey, come on. It's always waiting. I just wish I could do something. <sighs> Look, if we've got a recent picture of her, I'm sure I could scan it on the computer and we can make missing people posters. It's not a bad idea, that. Well, yeah, if we printed enough off, we could go into town and put them in pubs and places. So go on then, go and get ready. The sooner we start, the better, right? What would I do without you, eh? Oh. Just, just uh, putting out the, uh, the, the the rubbish, you know. Well, that's not rubbish. Uh, it, it's some of my old things I'm donating to the charity <laughs> shop. Yes, but they, they they wouldn't want your old tat, would it they? It is not old tat. It's in very good condition. Oh, well, yeah, but it's not very generous of you, is it? I mean, using the charity shop to uh, palm off your old has -beens. They'd be better thrown out. No, they'd be better for finding a good... Give me the bag! Well, look, at, uh, at least let, 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 let me seal it for you. you. You wouldn't want everything dropping out, would you? <laughs> yeah? Thank you. So? Look, I know I probably picked the worst day to do this. Well, it's not really like it's our wedding day. I need to get away. You will be all right. I'm not going to smash anything else up, if that's what you mean. Good. I do love you. Bye, then. Oh, I hate that word. It sounds like you're not coming back. Don't be daft. Carla! Jimmy, hi, it's Tony. Oh, do you know? I'd forgotten we had all this stuff. I must pass it on to Steve. 
Oh, do you remember this? Ah, <laughs> yeah, I certainly do. Your Auntie Tracy loved dressing up as a fairy. I hope you're not thinking of dressing him up as one. Of course not. We're looking for something Halloween-y, aren't we? Ah! What are you doing? Trying to cheer him up. He's as miserable as the other one. He's just lost his mum. What do you expect? I've just spoke to Adam and told him that we'd be back in a couple of days, so... Is that a mask you're wearing, Blanche, or have you just not shaved this morning? Very funny. Well, it's no use. You're just going to have to go as a ghost. It's the quickest thing I can make in the time. Shouldn't you be packing for the trip? I'm surprised you've got the gall to mention it. Nevertheless... Look, I'll do it later. I'm dealing with Simon right now. Putting it off won't make it go away, you know. Ooh. Look, I can do that. I mean, it's only a matter of cutting a couple of aisles in that sheet, isn't it? Probably end up ear holes with you doing it. Look, I tell you what you can do. Nip to the cabin. I'm sure Rita's got some sides. He could go as the Grim Reaper. Oh, very apt. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I forgot. Um... It's all right, Deirdre. I don't think he's going to make that connection. I think that's a great idea. I'll do that. It's about as much use as a wet tea towel. Give him a chance. At least he's making an effort now. Hello, Emily. Peter! I didn't know you were back. Oh, just a flying visit, you know. Oh, well, it's lovely to see you. Yes, I knew. Uh, can I give you a hand with that? It looks heavy. Oh, please, if you could carry it to the bus stop. It's just some of my old things I'm donating to the charity shop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, dear. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, oh, Soon oh. have these picked up. Uh, Ooh, very nice. They're not mine. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, uh, they must be Norris. Uh, let me get these inside for you. No, I, it's fine. I, uh, I, I can manage. Uh, thank you. Nora, say that conjures up an image. Oh, I don't know. It's better than Emily. <laughs> so, uh, you're off the pub, then? Yeah, I uh, own it now, mate, don't I? So you do. Well, do you know what? I might just accompany you to your hostelry and uh, sample some more of your fine wares. Well, pretty do good, sir. Make sure it is the ales, though, not the wenches. <laughs> we don't have to keep this up, do we? No. Exhausted. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Well, we should come with us. Just for a few weeks. It would do you good. Mum, I can't. Not yet. I just... I feel closer to Liam here. I promise you'll come out soon, then, eh? Yes. Just worried you won't look after yourself. She'll be fine. I'll take care of her. <laughs> I only wish that reassured me. Well, if I can't persuade you... I'm so sorry we never got to meet him, look. Come here. Look after yourself, Harry. I will. Love you. Me too. Look after your sister, son. Oh, do you, Dad? We'll phone you tonight. Okay. Easy, you okay? Yeah. Mum's right, though. You need to take better care of yourself. Why don't I make us some lunch? Oh, Kirk, I'm fine, honestly. Do you know what I really fancy doing? Having a nice long got soak in the bath. Might even treat myself to a few chocolates while I'm at it, eh? All right, then. Well, I'll be just next door if you need me. Thanks. Pumpkin soup were disgusting. Complaint at chef, not me. Oh. That pumpkin soup were disgusting. Yes, but very good for you. 
They said the same of cod liver oil. I never believed that either. Those for the customers. The fat little kiddies when they come trick or treating. <laughs> if any of them come round knocking on ours, all they'll get is a thick ear. Oh, lighting up plants, it's only a bit of fun. <laughs> I bet you were the sort that tied folks' doors together, then knocked before you ran. <laughs> or smashed the windows. What do you want? A little unfinished business. May I remind you that she was released without charge. This is close to harassment. Rebecca Granger, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft, criminal damage and assault, occasioning actual bodily harm. You what? You I don't need to no say one. anything, but it may no, harm whoa, your defence. No, what are you on about? You assault? Where have you dreamt this up from? It's not dreamt up. The victim's pressing charges. Anything what victim? Say, maybe give it we'll discuss that at the station, eh? No, no, no way. I ain't coming with you. No, th this is all a pack of lies, Roy. Cover. Do it. You get lost. Oh, get off! Do you want me to do you for resisting arrest as well? This is totally unnecessary. It's an infringement of human rights. I hope you're not trying to prevent the course of justice, Mr. Cropper. I'm not sure that this is justice. Don't worry, Becky. I shall sort this out. Take over, Blanche. <laughs> So, would you care to tell me exactly what you were doing on the 6th of October, 2008? You've got a sharp memory. Let me remind you. You were, amongst other things, in Shaker's nightclub, getting stroppy with a perfectly innocent customer called Dave Simpson. Never heard of him. You were coming on to him, trying to get him to buy you a drink. And when he made it clear he wasn't interested, you started to get a bit more persistent, didn't you? The hell is like? Draped yourself all over him. Pestered the poor bloke, and when he told you to get lost, you suddenly got nasty and started to hit him about the face, causing swollen eye and cut lip. No, hang on, that weren't me. And I tell you how I know as well, cos it... Go on. Is there something you want to tell us, Becky? <clears throat> cos I... I, w I wasn't there. That's why. You know... Your insistence on sticking with this line of not being there is really going to hamper your case. This is assault. You could go down. This it isn't fair. I, di I didn't do it and you know I didn't. Sorry. Are you accusing me of anything? Only, if so, I prefer you actually say it for the tape. No. I'm not accusing you of anything. Then can we stick to the point? Oh, come on, Becky. Just admit you were there and then you can explain what really happened, eh? Yeah, well, I, I would, but... I wasn't there, so... I'd be lying, wouldn't I? The bouncer backs him up. Yeah, well, that bouncer's lying as well, then, isn't he? Oh, he also remembers you taking that purse now. And we've got a positive ID for the smashed window. So, things really aren't looking very good for someone who claims she wasn't there, are they? Interview terminated, 12.30 p.m. Take her back to the cell. Ooh, <laughs> frightened me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to cut a little bit off the bottom, though. Yeah. We don't want you tripping up, do Good. we? Hey. 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 <laughs> Hello, little one. Yeah. No, don't do it. Peter, stop it. You're frightening him. Hey. hey. You don't need to be scared of me, mate. I'm your dad. Well, it might help if you weren't breathing whiskey fumes all over him. Look, I bumped into Steve and he insisted on buying me a drink. Oh, you couldn't say no. Yeah, well, he's here now, hasn't he? And where's the scythe? I'll go and get it. No, it's all right. I mean, you might not make it home at all this time. Oh, look, Deirdre, I'm sorry I put you out, but I thought you might want to spend a little bit of time with your grandson. Now, no, look, no, enough, enough, enough. Little ears, remember. I thought we agreed we wouldn't get in touch unless something had happened. You sound like something out of a John Le Carre. Chill out, will you? So, 
Nothing has happened. No. Right. So what do you want, then? Just a drink with some mates. Is that so strange? From you? Yeah. You want a reason? Today was supposed to be my wedding day. I never knew. Well, you weren't invited. So me? It was a big fairy tale number. Not your style. And this is with a lovely Carla? It was, yes. The beautiful, tantalizingly close, but ultimately unattainable Carla. So, so what's happened then? So what happened, yeah. Someone called Liam. Liam's dead, yes. But not forgotten. Never forgotten, heaven forfend. How could we forget someone so perfect, so saintly, so far superior to me? He is the role model that I ultimately aspire. I thought the old point of doing what we did was to clear the way for you and her. Yeah, so did I. But that's Liam for you. Even dead, he's still managing to get his leg over. Another? No, Tony, actually, I, uh... All I want to do is to see her. Well, you can't. Why not? Because you don't have visiting rights. It's a police station, not a hospital. She has been unjustly arrested. And you're her lawyer, are you? No. Uh, then I suggest you keep your opinions to yourself. If you want to see her, you'll just have to wait till she comes out. Right. I will, then. You can sit down, you know. Gets more do lally every day. Sweetie. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Rebecca Granger of 16 Victoria Street, Weatherfield. Your charge as follows. On Monday, the 6th of October 2008, at Shaker's nightclub in Weatherfield, you assaulted David Simpson, thereby Bad occasionally even. actual bodily harm. You also committed theft in that you stole a you purse belonging to Susan Jameson. CPS and you committed can. criminal no, damage in that you smashed the window of Willis and Green travel You're agents. You're making it up! And the window of an unmarked police car. <laughs> now, you see, you take your egg, OK? Now, the trick is you do it quick. Tap, and... Ready? How about that? Cracking stuff. Very impressive. Oh, hi. Uh, we were just making an omelette, weren't we, mate? Well, we, um, wondered if we could have a word. Look, uh, I know I've been a pain, I'm sorry, and I, I promise I'll be out of your hair by tomorrow. Oh, well, that's a pity, because, um, we were thinking of asking you to stay a bit longer. Really? Yeah, we, we thought you could do with a bit of support. We could show you the ropes, you know, help you to get used to being a dad. That's if you think it'd help. Oh, that'd be fantastic. That doesn't mean we're going to be babysitters, though. He's your son. You've got to take some responsibility. I promise I will. I, I am trying, Deirdre. I, I am. It's just not that easy, you know. You'll get there. Don't worry. Ah, great. <laughs> you must be getting sick of this. You'll be docking my pay at this rate. What, what, what's happened? Been charged for everything, including us all. So that means I'll, I'll go down right. He says he's a witness that can prove it with me. And can they? Only because they're lying. Did, the old thing is a flaming setup. Well, we should need to prove that. Ow! It's not a line under advice taking. Better to plead guilty and get a reduced sentence. That's what you get when you don't pay for them. Unless you can prove you weren't there at the time. C can you? I doubt it now. Let, let, let's get you home. I, I shall go and ring for a taxi. All right. I wouldn't advise you to. No, I bet you wouldn't. 
So how much did you pay him? Or did you threaten him? Yeah, because that's more your style, isn't it, really? Shove some young girl in the back of a car and tell her if you didn't keep her mouth Such shut, you... Such cynicism for one so young. Breaks your heart. That's what this is about, isn't it? You want to pay me back for what I did? Oh, you... Language. Right. Well, you won't get away with it because my solicitor's on to you. <laughs> Probably is, yeah. But he isn't going to do anything about it. Likes a peaceful life. Nine to five, man. So you admit you set me up? Oops. I forgot to check if you were wired. Silly me. Just plead guilty, love. You're never going to be able to prove it. Just like you didn't last time. Still paid for it, though, didn't you? You're still a DC after all these years. Better than being behind bars. Of course, if you're that desperate, we could always negotiate. Yeah, go on. Assaulting a police officer would definitely do it. See you in court. Turned out really well. Is that from Rosie? Yeah, it just came. What's it say? Mum and Dad, please don't worry about me. I've been a great time with Rosie. Finally get out, find out in half an hour.